Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video features a subscriber requested video on the beautiful Chanel Zip Around coin holder that you see right here. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that some of the links in the description box below are affiliate links, which means that if you decide to click on them and make a subsequent purchase, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. So let's just get right into it. Here is the beautiful zip around coin holder. The dimensions on this beautiful little SLG are 4.3 inches across, three inches tall, and 0.8 inches in depth. Translating those numbers to centimeters, thank you Chanel for that. The numbers are 11 across, 7.5 tall, and two centimeters deep. The price point on this SLG can vary anywhere from $550 US to $650. Just depends probably on the leather, the amount of hardware, all that good stuff. So this particular one retails at the low end of $550 as of October 2021. So as you can see here, I have this particular SLG in beautiful black caviar leather with gold hardware. The front is very nice and clean. All you see here is the gold CC right there. This is a newer style of this particular zip around coin holder. So it features an exterior slip compartment here. The older styles do not. Like I said, this is a newer one. So we've got this nice exterior pocket here, which I am very, very happy to have. It's got a beautiful zipper that runs all the way across with a leather tab right here. You open it up and you've got three compartments like so, an accordion compartment. This is where the serial number is, the authenticity number. And then of course back here you see that it says Chanel and this particular beauty was made in Spain. Now with an item like this, everyone wants to know how much can it hold? Is it useful? What can we use it for? So that is what I'm going to try and show you in this video. The name of this particular SLG, according to Chanel, insinuates that it's a coin holder. I personally use it as a card holder, predominantly. I actually don't put any coins in it at all. Maybe I'll put some cash, but not so much its namesake, coins. So I did some investigative work off camera to show you how much I personally think it can comfortably hold in the way of cards. And then we can play around with throwing some cash in there and some coins for those people that may want to put coins in here. So let me pack this up and show you how much I personally think it can hold in the way of cards. All right, so here is the coin holder that I use as a card holder. I packed it up and like I said, I did some recon off camera to save all of us some time. And I think that the magic number for this card holder is 14. So as you can see here, we've got 14 different cards. Truth be told, I don't carry this much when I'm carrying this. When I'm going this compact, I typically don't need this many cards. So I truthfully just put like one in each compartment, if that. Um, but if you're the type that has many cards or perhaps you wanna use this as a loyalty card holder, what have you, again, I personally think 14 is the magic number. So these outside little slip compartments here tend to hold a little more comfortably. So I've got three cards on either side here, but then these compartments right here, I've only got two. And as you can see, when it closes, it's nice and comfortable. It's not straining too much. And I think this is just the right number. And actually, as you see here, we've got this exterior compartment. I can grab one more and make it 15 cards. So that is my personal opinion on the capacity when it comes to cards. Let me show you, hold on, get this out. Okay, let me show you if I add more. So like I said, I've got three here. So let's just keep that number as is. If I wanna add more into these slots so that we have three, across the board. Let me do that. They fit, okay? It's, it's not an issue of them fitting, but when it comes time to zip it, I feel like it strains the card holder a little too much for my personal comfort. Like you can see there how much effort it took to close it. Like it looks nice, but I think there's, there's just too much strain personally on the zipper and I quite frankly don't ever need this many cards on me at any one time, so why strain the SLG, you know what I mean? So I say the number is 14 on the inside with obviously one. You could even do two on the outside if you 
don't mind doubling up cards in here. Let me grab two here of the cards I just pulled out and put them in here, possibly. Yeah, so we've got two more right there. So 16. I mean, this is a small but mighty SLG. It holds, I think, technically more cards than a full-size wallet does for me. Um, granted, I don't throw cards into a larger wallet in just like the outside compartments. I just stick to the actual card slots. But as you can see, it holds just as many as a large wallet. So when you're trying to go compact and if you have a lot of cards, you can certainly do that with this SLG. So now that we've gotten the million dollar question of how many cards this particular zip coin holder can hold, let's see what we can do if we want to mix it up a bit and do some cards and cash, cards, cash, and coins. So let's see. Let's just designate this as the card compartment, okay? So let me take out the ones here in the middle, like so, and let's put in some cash. Got some cash right here. Pop it in, obviously, easy peasy, and it'll close and is obviously no problem, no strain on the zipper or anything like that. Now, if we wanna throw some coins into the mix, let's see how that will look. Let's get these cards out of here and move the cash over here. And now let me grab some coins off camera so that we can throw them in that center compartment that has a little more flexibility than those outside compartments. So here I've got a nice little chunk of change and we'll put them in there. Now, as you can see here, the way the coins fell, it can get thick in there because of the way the coins may fall and cause it to be a little thicker in some spots, thinner, completely vacant altogether. So when it comes to carrying coins in an SLG like this, you may need to take some time to kind of organize it a bit to flatten it out so that it doesn't end up closing all wonky and putting any kind of strain on the zipper or the compartment itself. But as you can see, just take a little bit of time there to do that and then you're able to close it without any issue at all. And of course, let's not forget about this back compartment here where we can put, in my humble opinion, up to two cards. So you can put those right in there like so, and you're good to go. Now let's think a little bit outside the box, okay? Let's open this guy back up. If you want to perhaps add some keys in here, you could do that. Again, same thing with the coins. I would suggest putting the keys in the center compartment because it is a little more flexible and has a little more give. So you can certainly add those keys in there with your coins, your cash, your cards, good to go. Now I did, for the sake of research here, try my key fob for my car. And spoiler alert, it does not work. So let me show you. I opened up the compartment here in the middle. I took the coins out and I've got my key fob. Now my key fob is a bit bulky, as you can see here. And just ignore the fact that this round little key thing is there. It's just, it's not gonna have it. This will not work, this will not close. Now if your key fob is thinner, smaller, perhaps this may be an option for you, but for me it is not. And even if I take out all these cards from here and even the cash here, it's still, you know, it's not, it's game over. It's not gonna work. It just ends up being exclusively a key fob holder and, and not even a good one because I think it would strain it some. And you're just not really utilizing this SLG to its full capacity because you won't be able to fill any of the other compartments to accommodate other things because at least in my case, my key fob is just a little too bulky. So hopefully this video gave you some insight into the capacity of this small but mighty SLG from Chanel. Like I said, it holds cash, it holds cards, it holds coins, it'll hold everything, almost. Not so much a big key fob like this, but certainly some flat keys, it'll definitely accommodate those. So. In those instances when you really want to go compact, have a really, really tiny wallet for perhaps your equally tiny bag, I think this is a great option. So hopefully this video gave you that kind of insight and 
kind of fed the curiosity you may have had over this SLG if it was one that was on your radar and you just weren't sure whether or not to pull the trigger on it. Hopefully you have a better understanding of it and have been able to decide either way whether or not this SLG is right for you. If you like this video, please make sure to give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button that you see right over here in this corner where my finger is making a brief appearance. Hit that subscribe button and also ding the bell that you see there. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you won't miss any future content on the Classic Claudine YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.